Good day friends. In today's class, you will learn about a special move that will help you protect the king. It is called castling, wherein a rook and the king move at the same time crossing paths. This can be done only once during the entire course of the game. Either of the rooks which are placed at either ends of the rank can be used for castling. That is, you can castle from the king's side like this. Or you can castle from the queen's side like this. Here are some rules you need to follow to use this special move. While castling, both the king as well as the rook should be at their respective starting positions. Not just that, the pieces should never have been moved from their positions until castling. That is, you cannot move the pieces and bring them back to their original position. However, if one of the rooks has moved, then you can still castle on the other side. The next rule is the king should not be under attack before, during or after the move. That is, you cannot use this move if the king is under check or there is a threat to one of the squires through which the king will pass during castling. Now, why to castle? Given that chess is all about attacking the king, castling gives you the opportunity to protect the king from the opponents. And when to castle? The right time to castle is during the early phase of the game, when neither of the pieces have been moved. Always remember, the king moves only two squires towards the rook you wish to move. Now we shall look at some examples. This board shows the position of the king and the rook before the move. Also notice how F1 and G1, the squares between the two pieces, are empty. After castling on the king's side, the rook has moved one squire to the left to F1 and the king has moved two squires to the right to G1. Here is another example board. Now you can castle only on the queen's side as only the squires between the king and the rook that is b1, c1 and d1 are empty. After castling you can see the king has moved two squires to the left to c1 and the rook has moved three squires to the right to d1. Now you can see all the steps from the beginning of this example game that eventually leads to castling. Notice the white pieces carefully.
observe this boat can white castle no because the king has moved from its original position which is e1 In this board, the rook on the king's side moves from h1 to h3 and back to h1. Thus, white cannot castle on the king's side. However, castling is possible on the queen's side. Here, the king is under attack by the bishop in a5. Thus, white cannot castle on either king's or queen's side. Here again, the white cannot castle. Even though the king is not under direct attack, while castling, it will have to pass through the squire d1, which is currently under attack by the queen in d7. Here again, the squire d1 is under attack by the knight in e3. In this boat, white can castle on king's side. Check out more castling puzzles in the Google form sent to you. That's all in this class. See you next time.